At a time when hundreds of thousands of people are now unemployed because of the pandemic, some employers are actually upping the ante for new hires next year. Others are willing to negotiate. So why is this the case? Aaron Sullivan with recruiting firm Robert Half is with us this morning to explain. Aaron, it's always good to see you. So tell me, what's the reason for upping the ante now? You know, with the pandemic, unfortunately, a lot of companies had to go through hiring freezes and layoffs, which means professionals with in-demand skills have a lot of options now. So what's the reason behind offering more money now because they've gone through all of these layoffs? Well, even in a market with a higher unemployment rate, if companies don't take retention seriously, they're going to be losing their top talent to other companies companies and other opportunities. So what's the big takeaway from this survey that you found? The big takeaway is really that you do have to be competitive with salaries to attract the top talent. So if you're not able to do an increase in salary, think of other offerings that you can offer employees these days. We now have great options to have remote employees offer different benefits, flexible schedules for parents. So there are a lot other incentives to help attract top talent. So what is the current state of salaries? It's always kind of curious as to what a company will pay and how they determine that. Well, we did just come out with our new 2021 salary guides, which we've been doing and releasing since 1950. And what we found this year through our Robert Half salary guides is that year over year, salaries are probably going to stay fairly the same. Companies are going to maybe pay a little higher to get someone new and attract them to that company. But year over year, salaries for in-demand positions in, in office and accounting are probably going to stay pretty uh, to par from last year. Let's talk about negotiating. Uh, when you go in, I think the person who is applying for the job is maybe expecting one thing. Of course, the company is going to offer maybe something completely different. At what point do you, as the person who's applying for the job, need to know when not to go any further than you have? You know, that's a great question. I think it comes down to doing your research ahead of time, uh, especially as we come through this pandemic. Do research on how that company did. What were their earnings? How were they affected? Um, what are the company's capabilities? And that will give you some insight on how you can negotiate where those ranges are um, and, and be able to get a compensation that is good and matches what you're looking for, but also makes sense for the company that's trying to hire you. I know on some of this survey, you've come up with some numbers of companies that are willing to negotiate, others that are maybe maybe taking a little bit more uh, of a step back. Are, were you surprised at any of these numbers? Not really. I think initially, if you hear companies are paying more, willing to negotiate, it does sound surprising. But when you kind of peel back the layers, what we found is companies had to let go of various positions. And now they're really seeing what's a position that I'm hiring for, where I'm going to get the most, in a sense, bang for my buck and, and get if I invest, I'm going to get the most out of this person and the higher capabilities. And so it absolutely makes sense that those positions are going to offer a higher pay because they're going to maybe, in a sense, take on the responsibilities of what pre-pandemic two or three employees were doing. Okay, so bottom line, though, is when you are applying for one of these positions, A, you know you can negotiate, B, you know that the company is willing to negotiate, but you still have to kind of watch where you are in this negotiating process because of the times we're living. The best offers I can say are research salary trends, research the company's financials, practice asking for what you're looking for and how to overcome those projections, but also keep in mind what's important to you outside of salary as far as benefits, vacation, extra time, and, and know what you're looking for going into it. And you'll be able to have a, a fair conversation uh, to negotiate a salary that is competitive and makes sense for you and the company alike. As always, Aaron, it's good to talk with you, and you're always so optimistic, and that's what we love. Thank you so much, Joe. All right, thank you. And keep it right here. We'll be right back.